Am I the asshole? For housing my daughter by not my stepdaughter? Hi everyone, this is a doozy and I think I might be the R, but I wanted some opinions. I'm A who inherited a beach house from my grandfather. The house has been in my family for generations, and it has a lot of sentimental value to me. I am now with my long-term girlfriend for seven years after a divorce from my first wife which ended on good terms. She has a daughter from a previous marriage, and I have a daughter from my marriage as well. Our daughters are each 17 with mine being basically three months younger. Kara, the oldest will be 18 in May. Kara has been in my life for seven years and we have a good relationship however she has an active father in her life so I did not fill the troll. I was in her life 50 of the time so I have no doubt I played a large role in her life, but I wouldn't say father, but others do say a non-legal stepfather. I have my daughter, Emmy, half time as well aside from summers where I had her more due to my and my ex's lifestyle. With that said, my ex and I have a good relationship as does our daughter with all of us. Kara and Emmy have gotten along, and they are friendly. They have made plans independent of myself and my GF but they don't consider themselves sisters or best friends. Now to the issue. Kara will be going to school near the beach house and has asked if she can live in it to save the money which would be significant. Emmy approached me and has said she wanted to live there after the summer but wanted to live alone while also in school. The home is more than big enough for two but she pointed out that they have very different lifestyles and would be far more comfortable alone or with a friend if I insisted she live with someone. It was a frank conversation and she brought up the fact that the home will be hers one day, so it made sense, and she's right, the home will be hers by law in a few years as I will pass it to her. My GF and Kara are very upset and calling it favoritism and pointing out that she will already be set for life between having a free ride to school via scholarships and housing while Kara will be using loans, and may have to take a gap year or attend another school altogether. They are asking me to reconsider, and I think I've damaged my relationship. Am I the asshole? For this decision? I agree that it's favoritism, but Emmy is my daughter. Of course I'm going to favor her, right? <laughs> Calling it favoritism. You are allowed to favor your daughter over your GF's daughter. Not the asshole given the information about the stepdaughter being a partier and the daughter wanting a quiet home life. Additionally, OP isn't an actual parent to Kara he and her mother are not married, she has an involved father free housing is a huge ask. Frankly, it's concerning that Ops GF and her daughter have jumped to labeling this as favoritism when OP doesn't have any responsibility for Kara. They seem entitled. I'm assuming, and that might be wrong on my part, that your daughter wants peace and quiet to study and concentrate on school while your GF's daughter might be more apt to fully experience the social aspects of college. There is nothing wrong with either but end of the day your ultimate responsibility is for your daughter not the asshole. Info what does very different lifestyles mean? Because it sounds strange that Emmy would specifically want to live alone or with another friend but not Kara even though it sounded like they are, at least, on friendly terms. Not the asshole. It is not your fault that stepdaughter although you are not legally married to her mother, is not receiving scholarships. I don't see why your stepdaughter or your girlfriend thinks they are entitled to your property. Are they offering rent? Do they maintain the beach house in some way? Not the asshole. You're Kara's mom's boyfriend and not Kara's stepfather seeing as you're not married. Kara's dad needs to step up and support her if money is an issue. There really is no issue with not treating Kara as your daughter in terms of family property because she is not. And Kara being in your life should not change Emmy's prospects, that would be very unfair to Emmy. This does not mean that you shouldn't have a good relationship with Kara and be a positive figure in her life. But this is Emmy's inheritance. Info do you have reason to believe Kara wouldn't respect rules about having people over or being noisy in the house don't and don't? Just wondering whether it really boils down to that Emmy just doesn't want to live with her, whether she'd be disruptive or not. Edit not the asshole based on Ops comments and reply.
not the asshole, there's not reason not to show favoritism to your actual child. I'm really struggling with the way that Emmy's scholarship is being presented as being unfair because Kara will have to take out loans. Scholarships don't usually work on a lottery system. Emmy has probably had to work hard to get one. But that's beside the point. Not the asshole. Is it favoritism? In the strictest sense of the word, you are favoring one girl over another, but that is completely understandable because one of them is your daughter. Are your GF and her daughter upset or jealous that your daughter got scholarships and that she will inherit the house? Not the asshole your girlfriend and her daughter are not entitled to your property. It is yours and not yet your daughter's, so the decision is yours. If your girlfriend's daughter were to move in and then your relationship ends, you could end up with a fun eviction process. Not the asshole. You are responsible for your kid. She worked hard to get the scholarship and she deserves to live in her family's house. Kara has her own parents who should deal with her education, just be see they can't, it doesn't mean it's your responsibility. You are not the asshole. Your girlfriend's daughter is not a stepdaughter. Your actual daughter is telling you how she feels, and that she is not comfortable living with someone who has a completely different lifestyle than her. Let your daughter live at the beach house alone, or with someone she is comfortable with. It's not your fault your daughter got scholarships, that is awesome by the way if you see yourself marrying this woman, I would consider a prenup. Not the asshole but you should add the information that Kara parties often while Emmy tends to be introverted and more withdrawn. Would it be possible to pitch in for Kara's housing otherwise? Not the asshole, especially since your daughter will have the house in a few years, she has the right to be comfortable in her home and if she doesn't want Kara, it's her choice. Not the asshole because you and your girlfriend are not married and Kara has two living parents. Her bio dad can step up and pay her rent while she goes to school. When reading the advice here keep in mind many of the commenters are likely 17-18 years olds themselves. Why would an 18-year-old girl be entitled to her mother's boyfriend's beach house? She has two parents. She can get a roommate and rent an apartment like most college students. Not the asshole of course you favor your DD. Your GF and her DD seem greedy. Do not marry GF without a prenup, get legal advice on this and if GF tries to claim common law marriage. Not the asshole. In a choice BTWN your daughter and your GF's daughter, of course you are going to favor your daughter, especially since the house is your family home. Then add in that your GF's daughter is more of a partier and your daughter is quieter, it's even more of a no-brainer. Would it be nice to find a compromise to allow both girls to live in the house? Of course, but even if they were regular renters, wouldn't you prefer the quiet student versus the partier? Just a reminder you are legally responsible for anything that happens to anyone on your property, so if someone trips and breaks an arm they will sue think long and hard.